Hey guys, so I'm going to make videos from here from now on because I kind of want a room change and this is actually my anime room so if you can look I'll probably show you my anime posters. I'm in the process of moving so I figured hey you know why not um, and here's just like boxes and sealed product. So I'm going to talk about the developer problem uh, which the coach currently has and the biggest indicator that there's a problem is probably out the Star City Games had a GP called GP Charlotte, which just happened whenever this video was recorded. And their the um, matching program, program that matches undefeated with undefeated, one twos, one twos, in the system where it tells you who your opponent is, opponent matching system, broke down. And it's not the first time it broke down, I have no chair, and GP Barcelona broke down, and GP Nagala, in the last round, round 15, they had to manually fix it uh, by doing round 15 by paper. And luckily round 15 was the last round, so there weren't that many people still left. But this was pretty uh, crazy because it was round five, so or round four, or some earlier round, and they gave them the option of dropping by round five, and you could get a infinite uh, challenger ticket or whatever it is and then you can play for the rest of the weekend so that was Saturday you could play Saturday and Sunday at as many of these events as you wanted including sealed so essentially unlimited free events was given and I estimate the value of this you know all these tickets being sent at over a hundred thousand dollars which oddly enough is the price of one developer so this program so if I understand this program correctly, again, I haven't seen the code, but I am a developer and I have made uh, some pretty cool programs. So if you want to check them out, I have a GitHub, Gutterless, and you can check out uh, some of my speed tracking program, which will track how fast you run, how fast your car is. It's just a very basic program. And then a CRM. And then I have, uh, I think, Call Drive. My Premiere software is also on the GitHub. And a AdWords API with JS Node is on my GitHub as well, I believe. So I do develop lots of cool stuff. I um, do have a software company called Call Drive, so I do know a little bit about development, and I have led development teams before as large as 45 people. 44 of them being in India, of course. <laughs> so uh, I look at you know a simple program like that, and it is incredibly simple program. The matching is it's a math equation. Imagine a giant math equation in a computer. Uh, with today's technology, that should be extremely easy to execute. And worst of all, there should be a backup, right? So whenever, so in, in my field of work, if we develop something, let's say I have an e-commerce magenta side uh, website, which I have plenty of clients who do that. If it goes down on Christmas day or Valentine's day, we have just lost a client tens of thousands of dollars, um, especially if that client is a makeup client. One of our clients sells makeup and is a very large makeup company. And if their website goes down on a Valentine's day, it would, they would fire us within the hour. Like as soon as they found out, they would, we would be gone. Uh, but for Wizards of Coast, you know what? Hey, don't worry about it. You know, GP Barcelona wasn't enough for us, GP uh, Nagata, uh, and GP Charlotte. So the epic failure was not something that they did not understand would happen. They already had two very good warnings, uh, GP Barcelona and GP Nagala. Uh, and I mean, it failed at GP Nagala. That's, that's the problem. It failed in round 15, but so they were able to solve it by manually um, doing the rounds by, on, on paper. But, but that was only because it was round 15. It cannot, they couldn't do that if it was round five. So imagine, imagine your best, your, your one time a month or one time every two weeks where it's the biggest event and you have a huge amount of customers coming and it fails. That is in no scenario can a developer or should a development team survive not being fired at from that. But this development team, I mean, they are just, uh, I think they're tenured and they're unfireable. Like, so they could have took the $100,000 that they probably lost from products and uh, bad PR. I think if you add bad PR, and before people say, oh, it, it's good PR. It's good PR for Star City Games, but it's gotta be bad PR for the Wizards of Coast development team. 
who I assume is the same development team. I assume that it's the same people who make Magic Online, which I'll get to in another video next week, which I'm making today. But uh, I know a little bit more about Magic Online than I do about this uh, opponent pairing program. But from what I can see, I think a very simple program would suffice. And if that program failed, I would probably have multiple backups of it, right? Or have it fixed fast enough. Like I know it's a Saturday, but hey guys, you know, for me, there's no excuse. If Valentine's Day falls on like a Saturday and it goes, the makeup website goes down or you know, the weekend before or something like that. And I know that it's gonna be heavy sales and it's gonna be heavy traffic. And my and the website goes down or the magenta like spikes and has a bug with it. Hey, it's up to me to fix it immediately. Otherwise, every time I don't fix it, it looks bad. And there's been free GPs. This software has only been used, I believe, for a year. And already three times it's failed. So what? Take the $100,000 and just invest in a senior developer. Uh, $100,000 is probably the amount of money you lost from just giving the infinite challenger passes, right? Anyway, bye guys.